faith, health, wealth, and family. So I'll take the first pillar and steer the hearts of the believers on the first pillar. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not end up at Shumira, Wakakurunga Moedu, Pamaswe Gutanga. We want to start by the first pillar. Sorry, the first pillar. Yes, faith. Just to steer our faith. Give me a song, son. Give me a song. No, kuti, timari, anotu, iyenga, anama. It's a very simple song. No kuti timari anotunga hienga anama twist. I'm privileged to be here tonight. My wife is with me. Mother is with me. I've got my elder sitting there. Elder Jack. May the Lord bless you, sir. Thank you. In the interest of time, let's get into the business of the day. Bishop said, Thank you so much. Bishop, this is set for time, right? Start it. Hallelujah. Praise God. You will forgive me, my man of God. I will free myself sometimes. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I'm among my brothers and sisters in the kingdom. 
I, I love to titbits your bishop. He's just uh, a wonderful man. When we connected, we definitely connected. And, uh, you guys are a powerful, powerful group of believers. See how you love the Lord. This conference has been powerful. So, let, let's see how the Lord will take us through. Go with me to the book of Psalm 78. Uh, so that we can encourage each other here to start a new decade. What a privilege that God has given us. We are just at the verge of entering yet another decade. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I want you to add another 10 years to where you are and see how amazing, how amazingly mature you will be. It, it, it is deliberate. I'm not using the word old, I'm using the word mature. I'm seeing something like my friend right here. Uh -uh. Chairman, I, I wasn't saying. Is that one? Such garo. I honor you. I honor you. you. I, I didn't see. Oh man. I didn't see. Oh man. That's why I talk the chairman of Angwe, we Mat North Province. He was such a caro, a Mat Tebere in the North. Thank you, sir. Not ten. Thank you. So I said, add another ten years. To see how much you will and see how mature you will be. Uo ne kuti unengo wakura shakadin. How mature, not how old. Kukura kwete kuchembera. Glory to Jesus. Maringa akuti. I was looking back and realized. I feel young, but I'm gone. Hallelujah. Immaturity, immaturity, the whole idea is God is maturing us. But I want to challenge you a little bit that in the next decade, may the Lord increase your faith to believe him for a mighty move of God first and foremost in your life. And then in this ministry in the ministry of our leadership may the Lord move so powerfully. Nesimba. So my message to you tonight is do not limit God do not limit God for in him are other dimensions you have never seen before and that's what I want to talk to us about tonight Psalm 78 starting from verse number 40 I am reading from a King James Version New King James Version, King James Version. how often they provoked him in the wilderness and grieved him in the desert. Yes, again and again, they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. My, 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 my. Amen. But, uh, thank you, thank you. There's somebody in my, in my shoes right there. Normally, when the word is so powerfully, like this, I love that kind of ululation. From my corner, I would have said, God is powerful. He is powerful. The Bible way I have just read, Bible, the book of Psalm 78, it is a narrative, beloved, of how powerfully God moved for the children of Israel when they started the journey from Egypt, right into the promised land. It is that narrative in the middle of the narrative, we come to verse 40. Verse 40. 
when the writer of this narrative is giving us the testimonies and the things that God did for the children of Israel in the midst of those testimonies bang we get to verse number 4 and the Bible says how often they provoked him in the wilderness again and again they provoked him they made him angry by limiting him. My goodness me. Jesus. Now, if you are an avid reader of the Bible, can I read the Bible particularly this chapter, you get angry yourself to say God whilst you were made angry you are also making me angry it does not tally it does not add up how do you write such a powerful testimony when all of a sudden God is provoked and God is angry under normal circumstances, I I want amen that are amens that are not solicited. Otherwise, I will preach until tomorrow. So give me some amens in the process. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen and amen. Now, God, talk to me, Bishop. You and your God talk to me. You read from verse 1. The Bible is talking about powerful things. But God did. Then 48, 40 says. Pa 40 put. Now we want to explain that. So that we steer your faith for the next 10 years. You haven't seen anything as yet. You haven't seen anything as yet. You are yet to see God move. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Let's go back a little bit. A few, a few verses before verse 40. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I like it. I have it on the overhead right here. Okay, look at verse number. Let's look at verse. Let's take for, for instance verse number 12. Verse number 12. Let's look at verse number 12. Hallelujah. Now, marvelous things he did in, the, in, their, in their sight. In the, in the sight of their fathers, in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. Then verse number 13, verse number 13. he divided the sea and caused them to pass through. He made the water stand up like a heap. In the daytime, also, he led them with a cloud and all night with the light of fire. He split the rock, the rocks in the wilderness. He gave them drink in abundance like the depths. He also brought streams out of the rock and caused waters to run down. Come on, somebody, talk to me. Come on, somebody, talk to me. How, how God, talk to me. How do we open a tap of running water from a rock. And we drink from the rock. And you then dare to say you we provoked you. Come on, come on, make sense out of this. We believed you for water from the rock. And yet you say we provoked you. There must be something deeper in this I'm going to enjoy myself the kind of the gospel that I preach. Wait a minute, wait a minute. How do you say he divided the Red Sea? Talk to me. He divided the Red Sea. And they walked on dry ground. Yet we come to verse 40. God is angry. You limited me right there. So talk to me, somebody. Come on, come on, church. Come on, church. I need someone to talk to me. 
I want to provoke you to faith. Because some of you have got little testimonies from just there. What you believed God to do for you. Then you will go around saying and those testimonies. God is angry with you. You say you could have believed me much more than that. Can I preach in here? Can I preach in here? Hear me and hear me well. It is in the same narrative. That he divided the Red Sea. Verse 40 says, you angered me. Verse 40, you angered me. Right, here's my question. What do you want then? What do you want? We have walked on the dry ground. We did not believe enough. There must be something deeper. There must be something deeper. In case, you see, my testimony changes. Some of the, the testimonies that you give. Yourself. You never know who is sitting down there. Some of your testimonies, you need to humble yourself. You don't know who is sitting. Let me, let me, let me beg it up a little bit. So what God are you trying to do here? What are you trying to do? Exodus. Okay, give me Exodus 14. Verse 15. Verse 16. Verse 15. Verse 15. Let me show you something here. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou, thou unto me? Speak to the children of Israel. To move forward. Now, we are at the Red Sea. The Red Sea is there. Moses does the usual. When we have no faith and we are stuck, we pray. Usually, prayer is a sign of lack of faith. No under 18. No under 18. When you are stuck in your faith, you usually want to pray. When you have faith, you just do. <laughs> Can I speak in the house? So Moses' faith is dwindling. Moses, he decides to pray. He makes God angry. The only place in the Bible where God stops a prayer warrior. Stop praying. Tell them to move forward. Why are you praying? Tell them to move forward. Jehovah Rebuke some people here tonight, Jehovah God. If you are now praying for money, you don't have faith for money. Ah, <laughs> uh, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Those who believe who are not tender will just you see it by their action. So the Lord rebukes Moses. Moses. His great servant. Now my question comes again. What do you want? Why are you rebuking the prayer warrior? Come on, come on. We are just about to enter another ticket. Step up your faith. Step up your faith. Step up your faith. Step up your faith. Yes, There's Lord. Something God is about to do for the ministry. Come on, Mushari. Move. Fambai, <laughs> move. Fambai, make a move. Itai go fambai. Take a step. Tora nano. Let me bring it home. 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 Let me God rebukes Moses who's praying. Mariba no tsura Moses who rukuna mata. What do you say? You offended me. Makandi gumbura. Okay. 
Give me Psalm 114. Chindira tiza pana ma pisari ma 114. Let's read something there. Let's read something there. Chone shume chinu Psalm 114. Ma pisari ma 114. Let's try and and put it together. Chichi chichi werenge tse chone. Are you there? Wa apo ere. Hallelujah. My 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 my. Ah. I'm gonna believe God for something impossible. God is putting a challenge before you. God is putting a challenge before you. Saying what you think you have believed me. There are higher dimensions. And deeper dimensions in God. When the children of Israel. Went out of Egypt. It is the same story. The same story. The same, somebody say the same story. The same story. Now when Israel got out of Egypt. Israel the house of Jacob. From a people of a strange language. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give me verse number two. Give me verse number two. Judah was his sanctuary. Judah In Israel, his dominion. Israel Give me the next verse. <laughs> the sea. Gumba. <laughs> saw it. Ragashona. And fled. Rigatiza. You're not in the church. The sea. Gumba. <laughs> saw it. Ragashona. And fled. Rigatiza. Moses. Moses comes to the sea. Ano shikapa gumba. And pray. Uno namata. Oh, come on, somebody, talk to me. No wonder God is angry. No, sir, I'm the sea. Kumba. Soy. Ragashon. Fled. Rigatisa. Moses comes to the sea. Moses no he prays for his sin. That his sins fled. Rakatisa. Kari. Okay. Some of you are such a sinker. I'm you, 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 you haven't got it yet. You are still now confused. you understand why God was angry. He says, I was asking God, you are saying, tell the people to move to where? Into the sea. God did to do another miracle on top of another miracle. To divide the sea that the sins left. Somebody is not getting me. You don't sit down when things are like this. I was going to run around and say, yeah, yeah. You are praying for something. God has dealt with it already. Kashata. This coming year. Beware of certain things that you are going to pray for. Hallelujah. God has dealt with Moses. Can I preach here? Moses. Moses. Tell the people to move. Yet Moses is seeing a sea. The Bible tells me. The sea saw it. Are you not struggling with things that saw you long time ago? And those things Jesus respected you so much that they have since given you way. But you are still struggling as if the things are still there. I have good news for you. Moses, Moses tell the people to move. I have good news for you. Believe God. This year, believe God. Don't struggle with things. God has already told you. Don't struggle with money issues. That's not going to be an issue. He specializes with going through the wilderness. I say, my God specializes going through the wilderness. I like the Zimbabwean wilderness. We will go through it. We, <laughs> I say, we will go through it. We are not going to grow thin because we will eat good stuff. <laughs> Let me, let, me, let me shock you a little bit. This God is able. Believe him. Don't anger him by lack of faith. 
God. Why are you angry? When we believed you to walk on a dry ground. No. That's not enough. God says I'm better than that. He says I'm greater than that. Can I shock you? What God was expecting them to do. My bishop. One day Jesus comes. He comes on earth. He wants to demonstrate what they could have done to Pharaoh. He's faced with the sea. He walks on it. No, you're not yet in church. <laughs> you are not yet in church. <laughs> so, I say Jesus comes. He walks on it. So I want a testimony, a kuti. You have got a testimony to say that it must be divided. When you are being, the sea is being divided, others are walking on top of it. So watch your testimony. Mupuro yako ndee kutichi. I say watch your testimony. Uchapupu wako ndee wei. We walked on the dry ground. Others will say I walked on top of the water. Can I preach to somebody here? So revise your testimony. For the next decade, God can do much better than He has done so far. Eh, 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 eh. Testify a mortar. When you are giving a testimony of a car, others are coming with a plane. And God can do it for you. He says, "Why not?" They limited me in the wilderness. Imagine with me. Be a preacher like me. What could have happened to Pharaoh, Bishop? The reason why Pharaoh tempted cross the Red Sea. Because the miracle that happened, Pharaoh could attempt to partake of it. Do not have such a miracle that the enemy will also enjoy. If God would not have come through, partly the miracle. Talk to me. What would have happened if Pharaoh had seen them? And their chickens and their donkeys and their babies rolling on the sea. Pharaoh was going to faint. This year I'm going to have to enjoy miracles, including my dogs. They will tell this is a miracle. My dogs will know that there is water. They, will not they would have walked on top of water. Kate, remember. Imagine, imagine Kate walking on water. It well. might not be able to fathom. It might not be able to calculate. If they had walked, mm, kids were going to realize that this is a miracle now. On top of the water. And Pharaoh would have seen that. And the Egyptians would have fainted. In the meantime, in heaven, God, God is smiling that they do not hesitate. They understand how God is a God of the impossible. In this God, there are deeper dimensions and higher dimensions than what you have seen him do so far. Come on, my bishop, believe him for greater things. Higher things, higher things. Okay, okay. You, you, you think that was even an amazing testimony? Jesus is gone. Jesus He leaves 
the miracle testimony at another level dimension. Now one deacon is trying to preach. He takes it to another dimension. His name is Philip. Philip. Philip comes. Philip, you know, he yeah. says, where you walk? I fly. Somebody in this house. So it's possible. She know it that way they walked on dry could ground. Have they could have walked on the water. They could have even flown over it. Is somebody in this house? So where, where are you with your God? You can take him higher. You, you can, can believe him greater. No. You, you can, can believe him higher. higher. Where others are walking on the ground, you walk on the water. You may think, oh, it was Jesus. No, and Jesus. No, Peter asked him, sir. Peter, how come funza? If it is you, can I marry me? Command me to come. You take it in the way. And Peter came. Peter got to famba. Peter came. Kawia. And walked with him. On the same water. Peter. Peter. And Peter doubted in the process. Peter got Do you? And the Bible says Bible, you know, but he took him by the hand. Do you think Jesus put Peter on his shoulder? Not Jesus. Going back to the to the boat. I no. They walked together. Back to the boat. Peter. Peter. On top of the water. Over time by Susu Toti. Toti Susu. Jesu Achi Oneka. Tito Fana Naye. That's Jesu Achi Oneka. Tino So Fana Naye. Tino So Fana Naye. So from by the Fana Naye. Tino Tino Fana Naye. Tino So. Soro Pemfurana, Tino Sofana, Tino Sofana, Tino Sofana, Tino Sofana, Tino Sofana, Tino Sofana, Tino I will not limit my God. And this will limit him. I will not limit him. And this will limit. I am prepared to go to the next dimension. Come on, take your seats. Take your seats. The Bible says he was not. For they limited him. The sea saw them. And fled. Is it not possible has you gone again? that just like Moses? Could you say Moses? You can be struggling with Matemba. You can be struggling with Matemba. In your kitchen. A couple of eviction order. Yet they have been evicted already. You are okay. eating Matemba. I'm using Matemba because I've got nothing to use as well. Are there no issues that God has since given eviction order? But because you lack faith, because you don't really believe that God was able to make, to create such a being like you, can do much more greater things. Now watch this. If you go to verse Go back to Psalm 78. There are amazing testimonies. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus is Lord. 
let, let, me, let, me, let me go with you to verse number 27. I have never seen, you know, God is amazing. Look at this. The Bible says, I believe not. Verse 27. He rained meat on them like dust. Say that falls like the sand of the sea. And he let them fall on the, in the midst of their camp. I like this version, Bishop. It says, the Lord rained meat on them. Now, 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 now. Forgive me, I'm a preacher. I love to imagine things. He says it, it is about to rain. The rain is about to come. Then hold your umbrellas, ladies and gentlemen. Then you check on the type of the cloud that is about to rain. Then you see the, it, it's T-Bon. Come on, come on. <laughs> That's a preacher. It just helps my faith. It's about to rain. Look at it. It's a dark cloud, T-Bon. What kind of an umbrella can you use to avoid the rains? And of Farragorino. I need an umbrella. In our in our meat will rain. We are not going to I like it. I, we don't have chicken. Meat will rain. He is not with this kind of God. The meat rained on top of them. It is about to rain in our area. Looking at it, there is chicken in that is about to rain. I love this kind of a Listen, God. God will, 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 will put your science to nothing. Listen, he gives them bread. No, the Bible says they ate bread, angels' food. When they tasted it, instead of them just enjoying it, they were left with questions. From children to adults. Normally children have a lot of questions. Which adults tend, tend, tend to have answers for. The Bible says all of them from children to adults. They kept on asking each other. What is this? What is this? Children are saying, Daddy, what is this? Daddy, it said say to the child, what is this? Okay, in Hebrew, mana. 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 And the children will also ask the same Mana. question. And the mother will Ask the same question. Mother in law, what is cheese? Even the son in law will also ask a question. <laughs> to try and answer a question. They will also say what is this. Have you ever enjoyed the move of God and ask a question? Cheech. What is this? That is more than you will ask the same question. What is this? I don't to teach. Hey, what's to Sunday school, you teach. Everybody asking the same question. What is this? this coming year, you are going to enjoy and ask that question. What is this? Bishop, 
The leaders who come from the homes. What is God doing? Are they listening? Couples will be saying, what is this? Leaders, what is this? Our youth, what is this? And God said, they limited me. We have ate the bread of the angels. And then Moti Takaku Misa Takaku Limitai. Now you can understand. Monochizons Gisisa Manj. Whilst Mana looked like Mafufu, Mana Payaira Titzikasa Mafufu. In the other, Kuovoni was the entire loaf. Pakuine Zijin Baracho Rese called Jesus. Renounce Jesus Christ. And one day he appears. He said, he said, once you ate manna in the wilderness, all those who ate manna in the wilderness, they die. But I have come. In the In the and this is my fufu. And this is my fufu. Because my fufu mrenje. Because that it passes on to the chimba ja upenyu. I am the bread of life. Can I preach him here? Nobody say it. Jesus did the chimba. I am the bread of life. The bread of life. So who knows? Come on, you're with me now. You're yeah, no no siwa. Hey, because it's a contender, man. If there was somebody who would have believed God to say, give me Jesus, I will eat him. They could be here right now. They could be here right now. He who comes and testifies, he who eats this bread, will live forever. Come on, believe this God. You never know. Can I preach in here? You might live longer than Jerusalem. If you believe him, if you trust him, what if you see the siege of stupid things, bigger things, larger things, in this hour, what a ticket we are entering into. Believe God for your family. Believe God for your church. Believe God for your leadership. God can do greater things than your sin is so far. They limited me. How can you limit me? In the wilderness. Murenji. Look at you. Jitari se. God will be angry at you. Marwano gumbuka ka. Be angry ka. Vanundu vanu vunduka ka. People will be shocked. This coming season, let holes like this one be for this church in every region. Why not? Yeah. Why not? You see, the problem with people is we have faith in our back pocket. We have faith in our handbags. Now let me tell you something. Don't waste your prayer energy. Praying to God over things that your wallet can answer. You know my wallet. You just say which art in my back pocket. Answer this. Pindula. Don't pray for things that you know your mother-in-law can Usana matira zinu zino pindu kwa naambu ya wako. Eye mima. Dinze. We want to believe God for the impossible. Chwada kutenda maripa ne zisika kunekine. Things that are beyond our wallet. Zinu zino kunda homwe zedu. Things that are beyond our capacity. Zatitika kwa nisi. Now we talk to God about those things. Chwada ure marisho zo. One day, I, I like a gentleman called Isaac. 
The Bible says. Bible is not. Isaac was now seeing blood. Isaac, you are kanga ona matirere. Then he said to his son, "Go and get me venison. Uno tiye and down on the way I want. And down on the chakra muka. Oi bika shandi no ida." And the mother was so clever. These are good mothers with good gossip. Good gossip mothers. These are good gossiping. They are women who can do good gossiping. I have heard your father talking to your brother. Tell me. The issue here was now it happened. Prophecy versus principle. She porofita chaka terisana neshika. Prophets versus principle. I want you to know there, there is a fact, uh, there, there is a, a principle I'm driving to here. This coming season is going to be an amazing season. Now, when we are talking about great things, like we are going to have th these kind of holes all over, somebody is worried about this wallet. Your faith must affect your wallet. Not your wallet affecting your Where faith. Your faith must so watch this now. Chapter 25 of Genesis. The mother had a prophetic word. That came directly from God. To say the younger shall save shall shall be saved by the older. Or the older shall save the younger. And the old woman kept by faith that prophecy. By the way things are narrated, it shows you she may have never shared with the husband. Because the husband is still holding on to traditional. So he says to his firstborn son, because it is your right, go kill and give me to eat so and that I fire. The Bible is amazing. He says, Once it is your right, there is a principle you must, you must fulfill. <laughs> it is the right of the firstborn. But it, your rights can never be fulfilled until you meet a principle. So daddy says, go hand. And let me eat. And cook it the way I want. And this good mother says, hey. Principle is now clashing with prophecy. But prophecy can never be fulfilled outside the principle. It's over 20 years later. So he says, look at this woman. She says to the young man, go to the pen and bring me two gods. If you have got that kind of a father who can eat like this, eating two goats in one sitting. Uh, this mother has got a lot of faith. Then he, she knows that when this old man eats two goats, he will vomit blessings. Pushing somewhere. So she cooks two gods. Young ones, tender ones. The, 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 the way the old man likes them. Now, let me tell you something. The whole lot of us, we don't understand that. Those, those of us who are married, watch this. Once in a while, well, give your children a gift. Or gifts. Tell them to take the gifts to their father. What? You know what your husband likes, eh? You guys are an item, right? Jesus is Lord. Amen. Yeah. Am I? Give your children some gifts. Give them to the father. 
and go and give your father ask them to pray for you and see I'm telling you see what God is going to do this old man like is a very <laughs> hungry man he just wants to eat he just wants to bless somebody he sits down it's two gods in one city now if you read chapter 29 chapter 27 27 yes now I want you to go to chapter 27 of Genesis and up at chapter 27 and let's try and conclude this thing here I want you to believe God for something here Genesis Genesis the old man has eaten and is satisfied he is now defying science Waku chinja science and it, is that is that go back to Genesis 27? Genesis 27. Verse number 28. Verse number 28. I want to show you something here. Yes. Those who believe God, those who are of the of faith, they are very dangerous to live around. If you hear Jacob is coming, you say, Ukaona Jacob achuya kumara in kwenyu. Tisa. Kana kuti be his friend. Oro befriend him. Okay. Please, suduruge yabu, suduruge yabu, suduruge yabu. Give me space, give me space there. Yeah, yeah I, I, I want us to read clearly here. Ndata wati tinyatza uverenga shinooneka. Look at this. Faith. Rutendo. Don't go too far. Therefore, God keep, 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 keep it okay. verse 27. So that you, are, you have an understanding. Yes, just eat it. And he came near and kissed him and waka, smelled. Waka pedo, waka musheta, and smelled his wiza. raiment. And blessed him and said, See the smell of my son. Oh, no, 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 the smell of the field. Waka ita so munda. Huh? Which the Lord has what? Has blessed. He has just eaten. Angolia. Now watch this now. When God asks us to do certain things that looks like they are dumb dumb. And and there are things things things. of faith. You miss the whole world. Verse 28 now comes. Verse number 28, you know we are. The old man is full now. He is eaten. Where you come from, where you're coming from, there are fathers in your church, you've got fathers as well. Now I'm preaching to no under 18s. Now I'm preaching to no under 18s. What's this? That is I. Can you believe this? Two gods changes a scientific configuration. Zino shandura mamiri no enyika. Mbuzimbiri. Zakuta ita manyowa. Zirimudum. Zatori yuakare. They have been eaten already. Mudara angofara. The old man is happy. I'm talking about faith. Therefore, God give thee the Jew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Are you sure, old man? Because you have eaten two gods, you reconfigure the entire galaxy. The entire earth I am full. Me, Isaac, I am full. I have eaten. The oil of the earth. I am giving it to you. When I'm, when I'm really, really happy, I will give you all Harare. Harare is yours. I will give you all Mfakos. Now, you think I'm joking. 
This is the grandson of Abraham. Abraham meets with Lord. Abraham separated. And God says, just, just look around. Where your eyes end. Is the Mzukuru comes. By faith, feeds his father. And the father in his happiness. He says, All the fat of the earth. Ask me, where do you find the fattest oil in the, on earth? That day, God reconfigured. You're not hearing me. There are certain things you do simple. Science. Where is the fitness of the earth? Because Abraham, that whole area is Abraham's land. Yes, I am Abraham. All the, the old oil. man had eaten two gods. Is pushed. Okay. Israel is watered much more. Israel is desert. Listen to the psalmist when he writes. He says, the whole is the desert is. Is. When when is one together, is like what? Every morning Israel is watered by Jew. Israel is one That flow not because of rain. Jew. This young man gave his father two gods. And reconfigured science. science. You have no faith. I'm not tender. And I go to Israel. Go to Israel now. The whole land belongs to Abraham. Yes, and they are Abraham. Isaac, why are you in Zimbabwe? Oh, the oil must belong, belongs to you. You've eaten two goats, only two goats. Now, Jacob becomes a man of faith. Jacob, He moves away from his father. No, talking about faith. The Bible says he moves with a rod. No, chimbo. Rod. Chimbo. The problem with most of us when we're talking about blessing, give me one stand. Give me one stand. Just part of the stand. Just give me part, part of the stand. Give me part of it. Oh, smaller one. Smaller one. Give me. Give me. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me show you something. Dingo kurati zaigo tu waka bane chimbo. Oh, wonderful. The guy is blessed. Waka ropa fads gam chinda wi. He didn't get a god. The last God he had that his hand on was the one he fed his father. His brother is angry with him. So he lives with the rod. And nothing else but faith. <laughs> now, the problem with many of you, you want an inheritance. You don't want a blessing. Many people have a problem. They want an inheritance. They don't want a blessing. An inheritance is a liability. I was. If I give you a car, it will break you know, down. Do it is very expensive but to when maintain. You've got the blessing of the Lord. On your life, <laughs> you can turn anything into <laughs> whatever you want. I'm just about to end this thing. <laughs> I can't, I can't I can't it. It. This young man believes God. <laughs> he walks away from his father <laughs> with nothing but the rope <laughs> and faith. <laughs> Listen. By faith, he has said all these things belongs to you. He runs away with the road. Then Obaba Nechimboyoka. But believe in God. The next possession he had. 
road and a stone when they ask you what are your, your belongings and you say I've got a rod and a stone he goes he has got his rod he picks a stone he sleeps on it. Because this guy is blessed. The Bible says angels will see. Going up and down. Ministering to the guy. By faith, I am going to show you. I want you to do something that has never been done before. Now he gets to, he gets to Laban. 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 Doesn't know who has come into his neighborhood. Laban, Laban has no clue. Laban, Zimbabwe has no clue. Zimbabwe is I say Zimbabwe has no clue. I don't see Zimbabwe. That family covenant church is here. But the family covenant family covenant church is the new kid on the block. A dangerous kid. I say a dangerous kid is in town. Yes, Tell those in the Harare that Harare is in town. Tell them in Blauai. There is a child in town who believes God for the impossible. Who can fly? So Laban plays games with this guy. What's this? That is up. Laban plays games. Let me, let me, let me end it here. Laban, you know it he cheats the guy. Don't cheat people of faith. Don't cheat people who are blessed where they come from. Goodness, after this conference, with the power vested in you, Give them cities. Give them companies. Give them. My industry. My industry. Before we leave this place, we will raise more business people. We will raise more business people. We will raise more politicians. We will raise people in industry. We industry. Jesus. So Laban starts playing games. Laban, you know, tanga chizo tishake. Laban has no clue. Ask Ziva. That this guy, wherever he goes, with him chinda, you pay sepa no end. The fate of the earth follows him. Ah, Ije, ma fute nika num tebe. So he's cheating. No mutsota. Let's end it here on an exciting. Ngati chimbo pe zera pa no fata ipa pa. Go to Genesis thirty. Enda pa na Genesis thirty. Let's finish this faith issue. Mm -hmm. I want you to raise your faith. I'm just about to pray now. Oh my God. Genesis 30. Genesis 30. Now. Look at this. Verse 31. That is about verse 31. And Jacob said. Jacob will not. What shall you give me? Who shall pay? And Jacob said, Jacob will not. You shall not give me anything. If you will do this one thing for me, I will again feed your sheep. Your you know, feed go feed and she. keep your flocks. Let me pass through all your flocks today. Remove from there. All the speckles, spotted sheep, and all the brown among them, the lambs, and the spotted and speckled among the goats. And these shall be in time to come. And these shall be my wages. So my righteousness will, will answer for me in time to come. Okay, it's very simple. This one is for Gamwendo, this one. Indeed, I come with you.
Listen, when you negotiate, in this life, never negotiate for a salary. People pay you enough to come back to work. But negotiate for shareholding. Because shares reproduce. So Jacob goes for a shareholding negotiation. He says, give me the speckled one. So that they are mine. Because they will reproduce. Don't give me a salary. And they agreed. Now look at this now. Verse 34. Verse number 34. And they agreed. After they have agreed. And Laban said. Laban Oh. That is where. Okay. Let's, let's go on to verse 35. So he removed that day the male gods that were speckled and spotted and all female gods that were speckled and spotted everyone that had some white in it and all brown ones among the lambs he gave them to his sons and put a three days journey between himself and Jacob. Are you seeing what's going on here? Now, don't do tricks against a man of faith. Now, we have just agreed on a deal. And he takes all the spotted ones and all the speckled ones and puts them in Chekutu. Now, 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 come to me. Science speckled begets speckled. Now, how am I going to have my share when you have taken all the speckled ones and you leave me with all pure white. Now, when you tamper with the men of faith, he can distort your science. Now, they are now in Chegutu with all the male ones. That are speckled. And all the females that are speckled. Jacob is left with all those that are not speckled. Jacob uno sara ne zisina. And God is watching. Mwari wari kushona. God is watching. Mwari wari kushona. I said God is watching. Mwari wari kushona. Tell your neighbor this year God is watching. Just about to finish. God is watching. Mwari wari kushona. I am a man of faith. God is watching. Mwari wari kushona. Things that are impossible. Things that can only happen scientifically. We can do them divinely. I have told you already. Give me chapter 31. Verse number 9. Let's end there. Now Jacob realizes that I've been cheated and God comes in to intervene. Move away a little bit then we can do this. That's God. This, this is Jacob telling, telling Leah and Rachel. Because God has taken away cattle of your father. And has given them to me. And has given them to me. Have you ever had such kind of a testimony that God took your money and gave it to me? Ah, is that kind of a testimony? But God took so and so stuff and gave them to me. Therefore, God took your father's cattle and gave them to me. God, how did you do that? Let's read the scripture. 
Do not read your Bible outside. Holy Bible. Holy Bible. And you go to sleep. Bible is good. Rine mongo. Unofaukunswa mongo. Verse number 10. Verse number 10. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. It came to pass. It will come to pass. Oh. Uh -huh. Verse number 10. Hey. It came to pass. It came to pass. Ndakatari landi kaona apa kurota kwangu. Zipuwa. Nongo. Zichi kuira zipuwa. Zoku denga mtar. Zakanga zine mitete. Ah. Nama wara. Amurelesi. Ne zakaita fumbu. Imi. Mfundis. Niverenge sai paso. Ipai peredere. Eh ipai piri baba. Ay 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 ay. Don't talk about verse number ten. Zokoro zaimu nwa. Zino zipuwa zakati zichi tora masamu. Masamu. Ndakatari la nikaona pakurota kwa angu. Pakurota mungwe yao. Nongo zakanga zichikwila shifuwa. Zakanga zine mitete. Zine mitete. Ne mawara. Ne mawara. Ne zakaita fumu. Nekuti chakopa akatora mikona kende sa chekutu. Mariwe. Korerino pindira yi mariwe. Apana argundi nzwa. Alright. Verenga. Read the next verse. Ipapa mutumwa wa mare akati kwa niri. Wait a minute. Pakurota kwa angu. Ah, girosi ya pindira. Jacopo. Jacopo we. Ini ni katindiripa na angu. Katindiripa na angu. Akati shino tarira. Tarira Jacopo. Uone kuti. Uone. Nongo zese. Nongo zese. Sino kwira shifuwa. Shifuwa. Zine mitete. Zine mitete. Na mawara. Na mawara. Na zagaija fumbu. Hey. So, Jose. Nda shiwona. Nda wona. Jose. Jose. Raban. Raban. Jano ita kwa wona. Jaka kuitira. Nga manerano tuta kupeza msangano. We want to finish up the conference tonight. Nga manerano tuta kupeza msangano. We want to finish up tonight. Korerino tuta kupeza msangano. We want to finish up tonight. Mufundi shwe. Vakambo titsosa makora afura. They cheated me last year. Yesu dagu hota mikone kune. Now we are watering the... Dagu hota mikone kune. Vaka dora mikono mipumbu. Vaka indana eche kutu. They took all the speckled ones. They fight some of them. And God is coming to them. Kuti mikono ino fakude. God will order some of them. Pakurota kwang. Pakurota kwang. As I was singing to the spirit. Pakurota kwang. In the spirit. Mutuma akati. The angel said. I have seen it. This year we are believing God. Don't cheat this church. Don't cheat me. 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 This is not the end to cheat me. I am believing God. Don't cheat me. Who defies science? We are not changing our science. Who defies science? We are not changing our science. In my dream. In my dream. In my dream. I preach in here. In my dream. Of the Lord. Hirozi. Say I have seen. The cash won how they have treated you. Matotera waka kuita. Taota mikone kudenga. We have brought the Shino own. Shinuta kawona mikone kudenga. I saw. Imi muru kuti zirimudanga. You are saying they are coming from the group. Apana zine magara. They are no speckled ones. Fume mangwana tiyeshe sabata masamu. In the morning you see them they have conceived. This year, they will have speckles. <laughs> they will have some speckles. <laughs> they will have speckles. Shit. No, Do you believe? Do you believe? This year, they will have speckles. They will have speckles. <laughs> Yemi kono, maka jaizo. Ah, apa shiru mumbai pe rakura uno veri. It's in your Bible that you read, the very same Bible that you have carried. 
Laban did no know what hit him. He didn't know. When we dealt with, with our, our deal, others were not going to have those speckles. But when the heaven brings so, 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 Every we are believing God. We will push mountains. We will push mountains. Rivers will split. We will fly over. We are, we are taking over. Somebody say we are taking over. We are taking over. I am taking over. I am taking over. Heaven is intervening. Other nations have come through. That is nothing. As is so so. The heavens have come through. The heavens have intervened. The heavens. They will not know what they have Family covenant church. <laughs> they will not know what hit them. You must never cheat Lapan. You cannot cheat Jacob. You don't know what hit Jacob. Can I make an announcement? Jacob have come to your place. Family covenant church Yashika. Yashika. It is our season. It is our moment. It is our time. We believe. We trust. We know that our God will surely come through for us. Come on, believe God. Believe God. Believe God. Believe God. I want you to believe God. I want you to believe God. Shut back up. Tenda Mari, 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 it is your year to do the impossible. It is your year. Hold it. It is your year. Correrino Mvunis. Bishop Uwe Correrino. Kanamaka Mbona Minana. If you have ever seen miracles. Hero Rene. This year. Yes. We are going to work on waters. They are list among us. We the Red Sea. The younger ones. They tell the end. Yes, we are not dividers. Those ones, those ones, ones. They will walk on water. Shanguitest. Shanguitest. So Buruka. Ticha fana na ye. Ticha fana na ye. Cheso wa chiwo ne kwa. Ticha fana na ye. Gana cheso wa chiwo ne kwa. Ticha fana na ye. 